All right, y'all, we are getting settled, but it's a cold day, but the sun is out. Um, the kids are home on spring break this week, so we came outside just to leave the indoor mess for a minute. Came to check on the chickens. Everybody's doing good. <laughs> um, and just come outside and enjoy a little bit of sunshine. Like I said, it is cool. It's like 50, um, which isn't bad, but this wind, it's so breezy, but came out to enjoy some sunshine check on the chickens get some eggs um since we've moved we've only been getting about four eggs a day um and we were getting like 10. Uh, i'm sure everybody was stressed out from the move and from that adventure so i think um it's just been a couple days so i think as they relax and adjust to their new home and get over the stress of the move they'll start laying again um they have a much bigger spot here um it's not muddy they have grass and leaves and um i'm sure there's lots of little creatures for them to eat so i think they are going to be much better off here so i'm excited for that it's nice to see them here it just feels so good to be coming out to check on the chickens here on this property on our homestead um, i'm so excited to expand to get more animals and i'm so excited for what's to come um so for today feeling super blessed out here with the chickens in the sunshine uh the house is a wreck i've been trying to organize and unpack but feeling super blessed today <laughs> Alright y'all, so I've not really done much video on since we've moved. It's been pretty chaotic, but I'm out here this morning checking on my chickens. Um, we had a tragedy yesterday morning. Um, so basically we have them, uh, their coop is in the dog lot and there's a premier one fence around them. Um, the fence isn't actually on though just because where it's in the woods and there's stuff touching it. If there's anything touching the bottom of these fences, they short out. So, um, <clears throat> it's not on. It's just here to keep them in. So during the day, I let them out into this Premier One fence area and at night we close them up in the coop and in the dog lot. Well, that before last, we forgot to close the dog lot. And so, something got in there and got them. So yesterday morning, I came out to six dead hens they were just kind of everywhere out here um which is very sad um three are okay one is injured so she's probably gonna die um but that's still one missing we had 11 so i'm not sure if they got away with one uh, i'm not sure what it was i assumed it was like a weasel or a fox someone had said that lives around us that they had seen two like dogs trying to get chickens this week so maybe it was dogs i don't know um i don't know i don't know what got them but so now we're down to three chickens um which is very disheartening it was very sad and tragic to come out here and see them all just laying dead everywhere um so i think this morning i just um fed them and we'll leave those three uh in the dog lot today and not let them out here just in case because if it was dogs a dog could come out during the day I don't really know what it was so a sad update on the chickens um it's rained and so it is a muddy nasty mess here um break my neck going over the fence um but yeah that's where we are we're trying to get settled trying to get things situated um which of course is a Work in progress, but that's just a sad little update for the homestead is our chicken tragedy. Hey y'all, so what we're doing today is we are planting some flowers. I have all of these bulbs, these flower pots that I've brought um, from the old house. So basically I dug up, um, me and my mom, she helped me that day. We dug up a couple of each kind um, to bring with me because all of these bulbs, all of these flowers um, came from her house or they came from her mom's, my mamaw's. Um, they, my mamaw has always had flowers. My mom has always grew flowers. And so 
I had to bring at least a couple of each with me here. Um, for now, I'm just going to plant them beside the building right here. Um, next year, they will come back and they will multiply. Um, and then I'll be able to take from here and put other places. Um, and every year, just keep doing that and move them around the homestead. And it's so, I just love it. I love the idea of being able to um, have these and to give them to my daughter, my daughter-in-laws in the future, and just to kind of keep that going from generation to generation. So here we go. We're gonna stick them in the ground. Um, I cannot Bye. find any hand tools, so Bye. I had to use a big shovel. So I just dug a big trench here. I wanna start putting them in. I've got some pot mix um, and topsoil behind me. I'm gonna throw that in the ground. We just need to get these bulbs in. Um, like I said, they're gonna die this year, but then they'll come back beautiful next spring. Um, and multiply and it'll be great. So here we go. he'll be back soon to finish he needs to we need a little bit more dirt work done some things are holding water some things need leveled out he's gonna hopefully move this big dirt pile up here um once he does that we can get grass planted um trampoline we've been starting work on the garden i think we're going to head out in just a minute and get some seed potatoes uh it's time to get seed potatoes in the ground onions um but i gotta get out here and get that cleaned up our chicken situation um there'll probably be a video a part in the video earlier before this that tells about um our chicken situation um so basically we had this premier one netting around and so during the day i opened the coop and i opened the dog lot that they're in and I let them out here well one night we forgot to close up the chicken coop and I came out here in the morning to a chicken massacre. I walked out here, there was a dead chicken, and I was like, oh no. And then there was a million more dead chickens, but let's go a million more. That was an exaggeration. But basically, I think it ended up being um, six dead. This one was injured. She's out walking around though, so she was in the coop. So hopefully she's gonna heal. Oh, there's some eggs. What's all that racket about in here? Did you lay an egg? Are you about to lay an egg? What? The lone four chickens. They survived. They survived the attack. But, so we've been coming out here and walking them up every night since. So, hopefully we don't lose any more. We honestly probably won't get any chicks right now because I just don't think I can handle trying to do that right now. But there's a garden. There's our outbuilding. Got it moved. So we're excited. We got this part. This is the part. If you remember from last year, half the garden has that woven weed fabric, which is awesome. As you can tell, I've already been pulling some stuff, but 
all there is on here is just dead stuff that was left and then there's just some stuff growing in the hole so really i'll probably go through pull the weeds out of the holes and then just come through like a push broom and push this all down the hill there but we got this tilled up this week ready for um potatoes um, corn will go back here. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to plant some uh, flowers, some wildflowers back here. But that's the plan. That's how it's looking, y'all. No, I hadn't gave you an update on feathers. So sad. Poor chickens. Um, but hopefully, soon I can give you an update um, of a pretty porch situation. Right now, this is just real life, y'all. We still got some construction going on. He's still got to finish. Um, he's gonna have to do some baseboards around the fireplace since we decided to wait on those cabinets for now um, <clears throat> So he's just got a few things to sort of work on. We're also going to try today before it rains um, Haul some of the stuff that's on the front porch on around and get it put into uh, the building to keep Walk around the side here So pretty out. All right, y'all, we're about to plant some potatoes. I'm just gonna flip this around and show you what we've got. Okay, we got. No, you can't. You can go barefoot. Uh, Yukon Gold. We're gonna try a few of those. I think these are onions. I got some red, sweet, and white. This is, oh, this is corn. Um, and then these are, uh, what are these? <laughs> Kennebec. Just a regular white potatoes, which we're going to split these with our neighbor. We're probably going to do four rows again, so we'll probably just do a combination of gold and the white. Um, but yeah, we're excited. Here we go. shoes off too? I'm cutting these are the gold potatoes so I'm just cutting um, he's having to put them in I'm trying to you want at least one eye and then that's what you plant in the ground and grow your potato this one has some big ones Enough.
All right, y'all. Bringing these eggs in, in my shirt. I knew that the little white chicken that's the blue egg that's left had not been laying. I hadn't found any eggs. And I knew she'd been laying them somewhere. Well, I just happened upon her secret nest back in the woods because she gets out of the fence every day. She's a feisty little thing. And I found her egg. 